and along with my husband Joey, we're going to start our travelling blog. Now we love to travel, we've been to many many places and we've never documented it and we thought it was about time we shared it all with everybody because we do go to some fabulous places and do some amazing things. So today we're off to Hampi, I've been to Hampi about seven years ago, Joey was years and years ago so we're going to do it again just to recap and uh, remember what Hampi's about. So we start our journey this morning in Goa at Margao train station. I've got my supplies, lots of goodies from travelling on trains. <laughs> we've come to realise that you need to bring supplies. So we've got all of our supplies. We're going to meet some of the people because we're actually doing a trip. So we're going to meet the guide and the rest of the gang and we'll catch up with you in a little while. That's the entrance to Magao Station. Coming in, they've got the security guards. So they got this little eatery here at the railway station where you can buy like samosas, coffee, tea. That's the stuff that you can get here for about 10 to 15 rupees. That's where you get your chai and that's the sitting area. Right, this is something new. They've installed an escalator within the train station. Whereas before it was just this downstairs. I'm going to use the stairs to keep myself fit. <laughs> Okay, so as again, we're in 
a tuk tuk now. We're just heading to the dam. Um, there's a very famous dam here outside of Hampi. It's supposed to be really nice to go and watch the sunset. That's what we're on our way to do. We've had a couple of beers in the bar before we headed out. We've met um, four lovely people. There's Abby and James and Natalie and Mike. So we're all racing in these tuk tuks at the minute. Hi Megan, um, <laughs> we're just getting the bus now, this little low, low bus. Uh, James, I don't know how you're going to fit it here. <laughs> Seriously. This is made for tiny little Indians. Um, but yeah. So we're at the dam at the moment, just videoing around the dam as the sun's about to set there. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes. That's the actual dam. Yeah, it would be. There's a lot of marsh land around. This is Mr. Prakash, Mr. Wyden Pride. <laughs> Good morning for everybody. Good morning. My name is Prakash. He's safe, bright and white. Sorry, I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hampi. Thank you. Hampi, seven dif different names, different time, different stories. Once, one big Hindu kingdom in Hampi. Vijaya Nagara. Vijaya Victory. Nagara City. Victory City. But this kingdom, all South India. Little bit Orissa. You heard Orissa? Yeah. Before Kolkata, up to there. Hampi only, capital city. This city was 47 square kilometer, bigger than Rome. Rome, 46 square kilometer. Hampi, 47 square kilometer. Around city, seven fort wall, protection walls. There are 28 entrance. To 1336, they establish. They start up to 1565, they ruled. Hampi was fell down in 1565. In 230 years, four different dynasties. One popular king from third okay, dynasty. Good morning, everyone. Right, we've arrived here in Hampi. So we're starting off, we've met the guy Prakash. He's been here for all of his life, so he knows everything about Hampi. So he's going to give us some information along the way. Uh, we're starting off at the Ganesh statue, but there's tons and tons of these. So we'll have a look at them all and then uh, at the end of the day, show you everything that we've done today. Thank you. Thank you. 
got there, didn't it? Because you didn't realise what was happening. You thought you were going In the middle of the crack, darling. Can't you see it? Rice, chapati, dal, curry, two vegetables, sambar, rasam, papad, pickle, yogurt. This is thali. And look this one. The stone contains metal, iron, iron stone. Okay, now we are going to see Katakum. So what were you pointing out to? Do you want to waste like that? Special elephants, it's called royal elephants, they should be put here. One chamber, one elephant. This elephant they use in Dasara festival also. When we are in Mexico, I explain Dasara ceremony. Each chamber, one elephant. This is Hindu and Islamic. You see, upper stupa, Hindu, and doors are Islamic. And this place for drivers who are maintain elephants, caretaker of elephants should be stayed in. And they know martial art. Look on the wall. Martial art. If one photo take, then if you want, you can walk inside. Every ceiling different. 
Okay. 20 minutes time. Go around here. We meet in the car. Meet in the bus. This is the way back. After 20 minutes. We're in the Vitilla temple now, and this is just stunning. This is supposed to be the highlight of Hampi, and no doubt it is. This is beautiful. This is breathtaking. It's one of the biggest dynasties that South of India ever saw. Each column, different note. Andresh together musician with the drumstick, the beat columns. Queen should be danced for that minute. But when Muslim here, the pill would in the middle, put fire. Excess of heat, the roof was broke, fell down. So many columns. Damage. Now light music only 56 bar. Since 10 years, no permission. See the chariot. Three stone. Dance. Where would the king sit then? Is that how they danced? Yeah, I know it's still there.